What's going on everyone? In this video, we're gonna go ahead and talk about all the interesting, juicy Apple news that happened last week. We'll be talking about the new iPhone SE 2, Apple Watch Series 6, and a newly discovered car key innovation that's coming soon for our iPhones. So let's go ahead and begin this Apple news. So the iPhone SE 2 is most likely already in production as case manufacturers are already producing theirs, some of which actually let you order them and pre-order. And judging by the look, it very much does resemble the iPhone 8. So it is gonna have touch ID it looks like. So this will be the latest iPhone with that hardware once again. Now these cases will become available on March 24th. And that is really interesting because that's actually the same date when the first generation iPhone SE began its pre-order back in 2016 and as for prices still unknown but many analysts and reporters have been saying it's gonna cost around $399 specs looks like it's gonna have a 4.7 LCD display and it has a high chance it's gonna receive a the latest a13 chipset with about 3 gigabytes of RAM and in my opinion if these reports are correct 399 for an A13 chipset, that is a really sweet deal. That A13 chipset is proven to be a very capable CPU, or chipset I should say, how Apple likes to call them. Then apparently AirPods Pros are gonna get a new update as well. In case $250 is too much for you, it looks like there's a possibility there might be a more affordable option coming out soon. AirPods Pro Lite is what many articles are calling them, like this article from TechRadar, as they believe that Apple is working on a new light version of the AirPods Pro. This reporter was originally found on DigiTimes, and all we really know is that Apple is working on a new assembly line for these so-called AirPods Pro Lite, and that's basically all that we know. It seems like it's just gonna be a more affordable option of the AirPods Pro, but there's no other information really backing up what features are gonna be left out. For example, if these are not gonna have active noise cancellation, or they might do the same thing what they're doing with the AirPods 2, remove the wireless Qi charger, so it drops down the price maybe by 50 bucks. But that's basically all we know about this story, is that there's a new assembly line for a more affordable version of the AirPods Pro. Now this next bit is my personal favorite story. I'm sure you're gonna like this too. In case you're unaware, Apple very recently released their new beta of iOS 13, iOS 13.4. And inside those beta files was some very interesting information that will give us Tesla-like features on your current car. If your vehicle uses like a key fob to get in and out of your car as well as start it, you may have the required hardware to actually take advantage of this future update. Apple Car Key is what they're naming it. And according from this article from 925Mac, they discover a new IPI file inside iOS beta 13.4 that will allow our iPhone to unlock our vehicle or remote start it using NFC. And this feature will also be coming to the Apple Watch. They discovered that it's able to use this because it uses the wallet application and links everything with the vehicle manufacturer third party app. So basically what it sounds like, your phone will be the car key fob in some ways because it's still not clarified if this will allow users to drive their car with just having their phone, not carrying around the key fob in our pockets. So that is still left unclear. But still, it sounds really cool. But currently there are some vehicles that already have this very similar feature where it uses a third party app to unlock your car. Like I'm able to do this with my Apple Watch. The only thing about this is that that's all I'm able to do. I can only remote start it, lock or unlock my doors, but I can't drive unless I have the physical key fob with me. If this new upcoming feature will allow me to do that, that'll be really awesome. Another interesting statement that I found about this article is that apparently you should be able to send the NFC key information to friends or family if you wish for them to also have access to that vehicle. So in case they could lock stuff in your car or get certain things out of your car for you. But other than that, that's basically everything we know about the Apple car key. And I'm definitely looking forward to this. Now another beta file that was found inside the this time the beta file of TV OS for the Apple TVs, there was a new number hardware discover that we have not seen before, which this is leading to the possibility that this may mean a new Apple TV system is coming out really soon. Reports are saying that this newer version of the Apple TV should now have an HDMI 2.1 input and there will be a much needed processor upgrade. After all, the current generation Apple TV, remember, was released back in the fall of 2017. So it still is using a previous A10 Fusion processor. And now since these games are becoming more demanding, an 
and Apple has been pushing their arcade service, this will be a great time to upgrade that chip with something like the A13 chipset or the upcoming A14 to really allow the system to become faster in performance and future proof for the years to come. So the likelihood of a newer version of the Apple TV is very likely to happen at the end of this year. Now when it comes to the Apple Watch, it, yes, it's guaranteed that a new Series 6 is coming. It just wouldn't make sense if Apple didn't release a Series 6. Because just like our iPhones, Apple, ever since the Series 0, has been releasing a new version of the Apple Watch every year. And if you recall last year, the only big major change that we got for the Series 5 was just a new always on display and a compass really. I, and I guess double the storage capacity. So the Series 5 wasn't that crazy compared to the Series 4. That said, it's very possible from the Series 5 we're going to see a very similar thing to the Series 6. Since there is still no word of a new body design or new images of new renders of the Series 6 Apple Watch. So the Series 6 is very likely to continue and it's probably going to look like the Series 4 still. With just some upgraded internal hardware like an improved battery life, hopefully this time a faster processor, and if you get the cellular version, you may also see an improving cellular connection. Maybe 5G, but I hardly doubt that because phones are just barely receiving this. I don't know if the size of the Apple Watch can actually take advantage of 5G just yet. But Apple, please do prove us wrong and innovate 5G on the Apple Watch. That would be incredible. A wish that I would like to see on the Apple Watch is a fingerprint reader on the display. Kind of like what Samsung or other Android phones have been doing. That would be really unique. But nonetheless, I'm pretty sure when the Series 6 gets released, we're going to see more material options as well as more color choices to choose from. But other than that, there's really no ma big major reports from news outlets or analysts talking about the Series 6 just yet. But that's basically all the major stories that happen from the Apple leaks and news. So what are your thoughts? Are you excited about this new version of the iPhone SE 2? On leaks pretty much already confirmed its design. And also what are your thoughts about the Apple car key? Do you think it's possible that Apple will actually allow us to actually start and drive our vehicles with just our phone? Or are we just going to get the basic key functions? Comment down below and let me know your thoughts. Now before we end this video, if you have an Apple Watch and you haven't yet checked out this video, as this year there was 10 new applications that got added on the App Store that I'm sure you will also like to know about. So watch that video, then this video over here that's just a video that YouTube is recommending specifically for you. They think you're gonna like it, give it a watch. Let me know in the comments if YouTube was right. Anyway, folks, thank you so much for watching. Take care, and I'll catch you all on the next one. See ya.